All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to program this uh, dial star timer. Um, this is a timer that was released, we're in 2016 now. This was released probably close to 12, 13 years ago. So it's not very common, it's been discontinued, but we wanted to give those who still have one um, the videos they need on how to program it. So I've set the date and time already, and we're gonna go ahead and start programming it. In my example, um, this is a four zone timer. We're going to say that zones one, two, and four are um, lawn. And then zone three we're going to say is actually a drip zone. And we want that, those, those different zones, the one, two, and four will be on their own program. And then zone three, the drip zone will be on a separate program. So this timer gives you actually two programs um, with four start times per program. That's a total of eight start times. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. So actually the way that this is set up, the B program, which you see here in blue, this allows you to do interval uh, watering. So between a set number of days, between one day up to every 32 days, or you can do just odd days or just even days. So that's gonna be the perfect program for our lawn watering. So we're gonna put the zones one, two, and four on program B. And then the program A lets you choose specific days of the week. So you can say, I want only mon Monday, um, Thursday, and Sunday, or whatever. Or you can have it water every, every second day, so every other day. And so that's gonna be perfect for our drip zone. So let's go ahead and start with the lawn zones. And um, first we're gonna set up the start times. So uh, for the lawn, we're gonna have it start at 12 a.m. at night, All right? And then we're also gonna give it a second start time, and let's sit, put that at like 2 a.m. That way it won't overlap with our uh, drip zone, which we'll have start at 1 a.m. All right, so next thing we is how long we want the stations to go for. So we'll see the little blinking light here under station one, and we're gonna put that for five minutes. Station two will do the same for five minutes. And then station three, we're actually going to leave blank, if you'll remember, so I put clear there. And then we're on station four, and I'm gonna do that one for 10 minutes. So there we go, we're all set. And then my watering interval, this is how many, between how many number of days do we want it to water? And so this one, we're actually gonna have it water every third day. So there, we're all set. So that, now we have zones one, two, and four watering every third day. Zone one and two will go for five minutes apiece, and zone four will go for 10 minutes. Now let's set the drip zone. So the process is really the same. Um, the start time for this one, just so it doesn't overlap, we're going to put at uh, 1 a.m. And then the station duration we're gonna have this one because it's a drip zone, it's actually gonna water for a bit longer. It's gonna go 20 minutes each time it runs. And um, so I've done that wrong. I, I pushed, I put that on one. I need to go over to three and just schedule that for 20 minutes. And then you'll notice I'm leaving four, one, and two are blank. And then the days of the week, um, I want this to actually water every day. So I'm going to click until every day has the arrow below it. So now we've got zone three, which is a drip zone, watering every day for 20 minutes. And that's gonna give, um, that's a vegetable garden, we'll say, that's gonna give that the water it needs. So we're all set, we can just set that to auto. We'll see it pointing an arrow to the day it is, here's our time, and then we've got our different programs, so we can see that they're set. Now, a couple other features on this, which I'll show you. Um, the first is the budget watering. That allows you to adjust um, from 50% all the way up to 150%, and that's dictating how much of the scheduled runtime will actually run. So, um, if you remember, zone four was set for 10 minutes. So right now at 100%, it's going to run for 10 minutes. If I move this up to 150, it's actually gonna run for 15 minutes or if I schedule it down to 50, it'll only run for five minutes. And that will apply to the entire system. That's a useful feature 
so that during the, the, during the year, as the seasons progress, as the weather changes, you may not need quite as much water or you may need a little bit more water. This allows you to do that on the fly without having to go in and change every single program. The next feature is the rain delay. Uh, by clicking the rain delay button, you'll see, I'm sorry, we need to go back to auto to do that. By clicking the rain delay button, you'll see the 24 hours comes up. Uh, that's gonna blink for 10 seconds or I can just push enter and that enters me into a delay mode. And this will flash back and forth between the current time and then how long is left in the delay. When I implement a rain delay, the rain delay will suspend all programs during that time. So, for example, the, the lawn watering program, program B, is not going to water during these 24 hours, neither will the drip zones. And it just skips those programs and then moves on with the schedule. And then the, and the way to clear that is you just hit clear while it's in process and that will take you back to the main program. The final thing is manual watering. So let's say I was looking in my yard and I noticed that um, zone two was looking a little bit dry and needed some extra water. Well, I could hit manual watering and then um, cycle through. I could have it run all the program A, program B, or I could just go to specific zones. So I'm gonna go to zone two and I'm gonna give that an extra 10 minutes. Just hit enter. So that's gonna give, that's gonna start watering right now for 10 minutes on zone two. And when it shuts off, it will just resume watering as normal. So that's how you set up this timer. Um, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer those. And thanks a lot.